Hey YouTube, Rough with Writer here. Hope everyone's doing fine. Uh, I know I've been busy just working, dealing with this cold weather, trying to keep warm. It's always a struggle. Um, but I just want to stop in and show you guys what I got going on here for dinner tonight. Uh, sorry about the lighting, but if you can, uh, if you can see, that is actually an organic brown rice uh, basmati, and I just like to make probably. I don't know, maybe like two cups of rice. And uh, so I just got my little rice cooker here. And what I really like about this cooker is um, you put your rice in there, right? Okay, you got the water, the rice, and I let it um, get get cooking a while so it's actually turned on now. And then bring you over here and boom, you can actually steam your vegetables on top of it. So this, let's try, um, I'll actually show you. It just sits right on top and um, as your rice is cooking uh, all that steam comes up and at the same time it cooks your vegetables so it's you know it's not raw but uh, it's it's still fairly healthy I mean this is just what you see here is the only ingredient so we've got cherry tomatoes and everything's organic so organic cherry tomatoes organic portobello mushroom slices and organic baby broccoli from Whole Foods um, I really recommend the broccoli, especially in the winter time. It's a great warming food. It's also just really um, powerful uh, towards fighting against any type of cancer. If you know someone that's got, unfortunately has may have cancer, tell them about the broccoli. A lot of people don't know, but it's the answer to cancer. Um, you can also do uh, broccoli sprouts. I find that uh, the the younger the plant, the more potent the the nutrients in it are so like the broccoli sprouts are super potent uh, I find them at Whole Foods that's the only spot I can find them and then like I said I've got the baby broccoli here so that's that's uh, what I like to get and then it's just short sure, regular adult broccoli is fine too but just make sure it's organic broccoli is definitely a vegetable that you want to be buying organic because if it was sprayed it's just gonna get all uh, down in those leaves there there's really not a whole lot you can do to like wash that out versus say like an orange where if it's been sprayed with uh, pesticides it's at least protected by that um, the peel so same with like bananas and you get the picture same with tomatoes um, not a whole lot you can do you know if, if you can't afford organic always make sure you wash it the best that you can um, I recommend like lukewarm water is probably the best uh, I've even heard some people use like salt water to sort of like pull out any uh, toxic chemicals that might be inside of some of your your vegetables. I, I don't know. I just I buy organic as often as possible. Uh, also, grow your own. You know, people say, "Oh, it's expensive." It's, it's expensive. Well, that's fine. Put the time and the labor and the effort into it and grow your own. If you don't have a yard, um, like I don't. Um, it's a bit of an excuse, but you know what? Ask ask your neighbor, ask your family members if they have you know if they have a yard. Ask them, hey, do you mind if I put it in the garden? Uh, I'll you know give you I don't know half of everything I grow. I mean that that'd be a great deal just for them letting you use your land. You give them like roughly like half of your your produce. I mean that's an awesome deal, uh, and it's a great way to stay healthy. So. Just gonna bring this over here, and like I said, I, it just sits right on top of there. So it's just a really easy way to make a meal, especially after a long day at work in the winter time when I don't feel like staying, um, you know, 100% raw. I just I want something that's hot to sort of keep me going, keep me warm. This is uh, definitely one of my go-tos. Sometimes I will do like beans. Um, I've been pretty. I haven't eaten meat uh, any meat lately, so I've been really doing great with that. Um, so sometimes if I do want like more protein, uh, I will go for the beans. So that, that can be a great transition vegetable for any of you guys out there uh, that are interested in getting off the, the carnivore. So, all right guys, I'm just gonna leave you with that uh, quick little tidbit tonight and hopefully everybody is doing well, getting through this winter and just staying warm and staying healthy. I'll talk to you guys later, peace.